Hey guys, this is Kevin. Uh, five in the morning. It's Thursday. I ended up only working out Tuesday and Thursday of this week. Um, this week's probably been one of the roughest weeks I've had so far. Um, just dealing with a lot of shit all week. And last night I only slept like four and a half hours, so that was uh, that was a lot of fun. Uh, I have a little tracker that tracks everything, and yeah, it was like. Not been a not been the best week at all, and it's not gonna get any better because I'm gonna be working all the way till Saturday. Um, just you know, trying to make money, trying to hold everything up. But you know, of course, everything would be the toughest on my longest week because why wouldn't it be, right? But that's kind of just how life goes. But usually, whenever I've noticed, whenever it's like the world smells weakness from you, it'll take advantage of it, and it'll just kind of, like, pile everything on. Um, but at the same time, you know, like, I think it's also a good lesson of, like, resilience, right? I mean, I could easily just keep sleeping and sit in and not do anything. I could just not wake up this morning. I could just uh, give up for the rest of the week. But uh, I already did that a couple weeks ago, and that's not really what I intend to do. Um, you know, I think, if anything, this is an important week to maintain everything that I've done, right? Like, I've been working out a lot, I've been building muscle, I've been losing a lot of fat, I've been making really good progress towards my goals, and, you know, I'm not gonna let setbacks stop me from continuing to achieve that. Right, but... You know, it is rough, it is not easy by any means. And I think like most people will never understand what it's like to go through, like what you go through, especially if you're trying to be a business owner, especially if you're trying to like reap the rewards of, you know, doing anything big. But, you know, one day it'll pay off, right? One day everything will happen for a reason and be a lot stronger for it. But, you know, yeah, in the moment it sucks. Like in the moment, I think most people would just give up at this point, right? But I think that's the last thing I intend to do, and I think, if anything, I'm just more motivated to work even harder, right? Because I'm not going to work this hard and go this hard for nothing. Um, and definitely not going to let it go just because of, uh, just because I'm a little tired or you know, I don't feel well or something like that. Um, definitely, it will impair a lot of what I do, right? It'll make my job harder throughout the day. Um, it'll make it harder to focus, harder to do a good job, harder to stay awake, harder for everything, right? But at the end of the day, you know, you gotta keep pushing. It's part of the journey. Um, you can't just, like, give up partway through. And this is, like, if it's the hardest part, then you're probably on the right track, right? Like, you're probably making progress somewhere. But I just know, yeah, like, this week has, has been really rough. And I think the hardest part is just, like, the support aspect of it right it's like when you're when you're struggling the most you kind of need the most amount of support but usually that's when you're gonna get the least amount of support and yeah like i said i don't know maybe that's just my life or whatnot but sometimes that's just that is what it is um but i'm not really gonna like linger on it too much But that's where I say it's important to kind of just stick to your guns, stick to your game plan, right? Like, my top priority right now is my health and my diet and just maintaining everything. And I can tell you, like, today, I should not have woken up. I should not have went to the gym. Um, but I'm going to do it anyways because that's part of my goals. It's part of my plans. I'm going to do it. I already did go yesterday. And I just don't think it's acceptable to, like, not stick to your plan, you know, like, not follow through with it. Like, at least halfway, like, I don't know. I just, like, I would feel worse not doing what I know I should have done, right? And the other thing, too, is I'm going to be working most, of, like, a good chunk of the day tomorrow. I'm getting off at 3 o'clock, you know. Uh, because I work tomorrow... I'm not going to be able to go to the gym, but, you know, my plan is probably going to work out at around, 
I don't know, 5, 5.30, I get off of work, and then we have dinner at 7 o'clock, so I'm going to try to squeeze everything in and make dinner too, but, you know, I think that's just something I can't really negotiate, right? Like, I could just not do stuff, but, like I said, it's not getting me any closer to my goals, and I think your roughest days are, like, your best tests, right? Like, everyone's going to try to make you change, everyone's going to try to make you break, everyone's going to try to you know, stray you away from your, your goals and everything. And I think those are the most important days to stick with it, you know, because it really shows who you are, right? It shows what kind of person you are. And it shows that you're not going to, like, quit when things get a little bit hard, right? And, uh, yeah, it's, you know, it's not easy. It sucks. I can sit around feeling sorry for myself, but I don't think I'm going to do that. I don't think it's going to be helpful for anyone. Um... And I don't think it's going to be good for me either. Like, it's not going to help anybody anytime, right? Like, we all go through bad days, bad weeks, you know, bad months, bad years sometimes. But at the end of the day, right, it's like, what are you living for, right? Like, if you're not going to live for something greater, then you're not really ever living at all, right? And then, like, my main thing is just to stick to everything that I've, you know, plan to do and I'm pretty sure next week will get better um, this is probably just like a really off week but definitely one of the more painful weeks I've been through for sure uh, but you know like sometimes that's life right there's ups and downs and you can't really get all the ups hopefully you don't get all the downs but you know, I think I'm gonna cut it out right here because that's really all I have to say it's now it's just a matter of doing what I say I'll do. Talk after the gym. Hey guys, how's it going? Just got done working out today. I feel a lot better after working out actually. Like I was pretty dead before I went to the gym, but I think working out and getting your body moving helps a lot and then uh just kind of being around other motivated people in the morning is nice because brings in a lot of good energy you know i feel like i'm kind of surrounded by like negativity all day being a dentist it's kind of uh gets draining after a while it's hard when you don't break it up and do something else one thing i have noticed like while i was working out is uh if you see i kind of want to posture my teeth forward so just so that i can breathe I notice at night that my airway gets cut off a lot, at least lately. I know this is like the early stages of the braces and you know my doctor is really keen on that because I keep telling him like I needed to move my jaw forward um, and expand the top so that I can like rotate my jaw forward and breathe better. But if you see like it's pretty weird like um, the movements right now are actually causing my jaw to go more backwards because if I bite down this is what I know I and if I really bite down, it cuts it off even more. And it's like that little extra bit, like literally, I can feel it cut off my airway. And it's not really good. But if I were to open up my airway, I'd have to put my teeth like edge to edge. And it kind of looks like I'm grimacing or it looks like I'm like, you know, like angry. But actually it's just like I'm trying to breathe. <laughs> um, some people like, people are really judgy. I think my staff think like sometimes when I do that, they think I'm like angry. Um, and it's just like, I'm literally just trying to breathe. Um, but they like to jump to conclusions, but I bought this little like jig. It's called a Lucia jig. It's a dental thing. Um, it's only like, I'm going to use it temporarily, but it basically like you have to have a, this gel that goes on it and it solidifies. So you put it in and then you stick it on your teeth. So it'll fit right on your teeth. Um, and it's flat on the bottom so that your teeth, your jaw can move like forward and back. But really the point is like it's gonna open up my airway because it's gonna make it so my teeth don't bite together. Um, you're not supposed to do it long term because it might mess up your like jaw joint. But you know, I kinda need to do it because otherwise like I'm not gonna sleep very well at night because it because I notice like I wake up sometimes and I, I'm like out of air. And that's not really supposed to happen, but we'll see. I know like you know, ideally what I probably need and my orthodontist just won't tell me is I probably just need jaw surgery. I just need to like cut my upper jaw and move it forward. That way my jaw will just kind of like slide forward. Um, then I bite. The only thing is that it might over close at that point. So like there's a, that's it. There's a horizontal and like a vertical, right? So if they move it horizontally forward, um, 
Like, it might be better, but I'm going to be, like, overclosed. I'm going to be overswung, right? So it's like, I might actually need to move it down, too. That's the hard part. So, like, we may actually have to just have me, like, stay in this position. Like, he locks me in, like, here. And then have some, like, wires or something pull my teeth together in the back. And I think that should fix everything. And that will actually open my airway and make my jaw fuller. But, yeah, you know, it's like, uh got to improve every little bit that I can every day, you know, especially on the, on the tough days, right? And, like, I definitely notice it more on the days where it's, like, a lot harder. Luckily, you know, I mean, I do take good care of myself most of the time, and so, you know, I'm not, like, hurting too bad. You know, I still have some health to, to give, but at the same time, I don't want to be doing this all the time. I want to, like, you know, be pretty healthy for the most part. And we can't be just compromising our health all the time, right? We need to take care of ourselves every single day. Uh, I think that's what's most important. But what I will say is, like, you got to be prepared for everything. Usually when you're, like, at your worst, that's when everything's going to be on fire, right? Like, the days where you're, like, tired, something's going wrong, um, your health isn't very good. That's when things just fall apart even more. So it's important to not get to that point where to let things, like fall apart and even if they do and you're you're taking care of yourself at least you're you know not too far behind but if you're behind you're gonna become more behind so that's why i like to be proactive with everything and really just stay ahead of everything um even with my braces right it's like do i really need to touch them probably not but you know there's no better day to start than now um you know i don't want to be a few years ahead now and be like oh i wish i did that or finally starting to do it right i might as well just start today might as well stop overthinking and one thing i definitely notice a lot now that like you know i talk to myself every single day about like not overthinking is uh i feel like my wife definitely overthinks everything a lot and she's still very institutionalized and like leaving corporate and all that but yeah like a lot of times we'll talk and she'll be like oh but like you know what about this problem I'm like yeah i think you're just overthinking that that's that hasn't even happened yet um, and she has a, a real knack for doing that. And I think that's what school teaches us is to think of problems before they arise. But in reality, I mean, you only need to solve the problems that actually do arise, right? Like you don't need to solve the problems that don't arise. I think there's a there's something to say about being like proactive and avoiding like simple issues that don't need to happen. But, you know, that's, that's a whole separate issue. Uh, whereas like, you know, sometimes we're thinking about crazy issues that are unlikely to happen. But I think that's when we need to just kind of take it back a bit and just start doing things more. I feel like my assistants always do that too. They always second guess themselves and they always ask me a bunch of questions. And a lot of times I'm just like, has that happened yet? You know what I mean? And like, sometimes my answer is really simple, right? Like sometimes they'll ask me ridiculous stuff like, Hey, is this patient yours? And I'm like, I don't know. What does the chart say? <laughs> like just simple stuff like that. Or like, they'll be like, Hey, what color do you think their teeth is? Like, I don't know. Did you look yet? <laughs> and they're like, no. I'm like, well, then look first. <laughs> like, I don't know. Like there's sometimes like the, the answer is really simple. Uh, but you know, they just find the need to like ask me stuff for no reason. And it's like simple stuff that they can totally do. It doesn't require a doctor to do any of this. Right. But like, sometimes you just gotta do it. Like it, it's just like, people are just overthinking everything all day and like they ask other people so that they don't have to take responsibility for their their questions or their actions you know and i think that's a rare trait to find these days like people that'll take responsibility of things and really like take charge and just finish something you know like you can't expect everything to go perfectly and uh you know that's that some people do which is kind of like toxic but i mean i don't expect everything to go perfectly but I expect people to actually, like, take action to do something rather than just kind of, like, sit around and wait for them to be told what to do. And I know that's, like, really big with me. One of my assistants, though, like, she's, like, probably my best assistant. But then she, she has this habit where she just likes to ask everything, right? And I don't know why. And I've talked to her about this. And she's just, like, that's just my personality. I just have to ask about everything. And I'm, like, okay, fine. If that's your personality, then, uh, then okay. But, like, it gets really annoying after a while because... She starts asking things that like, I've definitely like told her a thousand times and she knows it too. It's not that she doesn't know it. She just has to ask for some reason. Like, and I don't get why, cause like she knows it and like she really doesn't need to ask me. Right, but it's just, it's an interesting personality trait. It might be something deeper rooted. I'm not entirely too sure, but uh, I'm not a therapist. So I'm like the wrong person to, 
to figure this out. But that being said, you know, I think today, like, hopefully it goes smoothly. I, you know, hard to tell. I just know, like, these days where, uh, you know, things don't go completely right, they are definitely going to be the, the toughest days. You Most of the time. That's historically what happens. You know, like, everything catches on fire and, you know, it just gets worse and worse. And I just feel like the world definitely, like, can smell, like, weakness when you're, when you're, like, exuding it, right? Like, when you're confident and you're fully prepared and healthy... You know, everything goes right. Like, nobody questions anything. Everything's good, right? But I think it's, like, the days when you're tired and they can sense that something is off. And it has nothing to do with your competency, right? It's just, like, you're just tired or something's going on in your life. You know, they, they sense that and kind of, like, mistake it for, like, incompetence, right? And those are the days where they're going to ask you a ton more questions. And people are just going to question every little thing that you do. And it's not, like, because you don't know it. It's just because you're tired, you know? And it's just... Yeah, it's a tough situation to be in sometimes because uh, people really like misread things and kind of like jump to conclusions a lot. And it's really hard to just teach everyone that kind of that skill. You know, I wish it's like if I could get paid to do that, like just give seminars on like not overthinking and not jumping to conclusions. That would be awesome. You know, I would love to do that. Even if I didn't make a shit ton of money, I would still love to do that. But um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do with everything, but I have been getting my assistant to go through all the videos. Like we have this AI program that I plug the video into and it summarizes everything. And then when it summarizes everything for me, she goes through it and she like condenses it even more and, you know, makes it sound a lot better. And it's been kind of cool because she gets to read I mean, I think she she does watch me and follow me. She's one of my 10 followers. But uh, I think she gets to read and watch, like, every single thing that I say and do. Which is kind of cool because I think she's learned a whole lot. And uh, at the end of the day, you know, we're just trying to, like, improve everyone's life and make everyone's life better. And, you know, unfortunately not everyone's going to agree with my philosophy or how I go about doing things. And I don't think everyone's going to agree with you and how you want to change the world and how you want to do things better. But... At the same time, you know, at the end of the day, what's important is that you're doing what makes you happy and you're doing what's meaningful to you, right? And hopefully there's a following for that. Hopefully there's a there's a cohort of people that are willing to kind of listen and do that. But hard to tell. Hard to tell. You know, I don't know. I think, like, just posting these videos have been useful for me. <laughs> They've been uh, very, how would I say it? They've been, uh, I don't know about relaxing. I guess relaxing, yeah. Like, it kind of puts me at ease. Like, having, being able to talk to myself at least. Kind of uh, bouncing ideas off of myself almost. And getting to think about the things that I really want to think about. Because it's really hard, like, being around other people and, like, constantly having to explain and justify everything that you think. It does get kind of old. You know, so I'd rather just, like, Sometimes I'd rather just talk to myself. I think that'd be a lot more fun. But, uh, yeah, we'll see. Well, I think that's it for today. I'm going to drive. I have some lunatic behind me, so I don't really I think it's a good idea to, like, not focus right now. But I'll see you guys on the next video.